a very warm welcome to these tutorials which will empower you to play elementary music expressively and fluently. Number one, to cultivate and maintain a deep personal connection with the music throughout all your practice activities. This is the cornerstone of fluent expressive play and leaving it out at any stage will negatively affect your outcomes. And number two, to play by ear as much as possible, to take the music off the page as my American teacher Sophia Rossoff used to say and to put it in your mind's ear for the direct expressive coordination that this produces. In each video in this playlist I'll be offering two tips that prioritise these fundamental elements of fluent expressive play. Do please check out the other videos in this playlist as they form a series and complement each other and do please visit pianoportals.com where you can find out more about the joyful holistic approach to piano technique underpinning the advice I'm giving here. Please note that I'm demonstrating these activities having already grown to know and love the musical sounds of these pieces in detail. That's why I don't have the score in front of me, but I would of course start with the score or with a recording or with both if I don't actually know the music yet. This poignant little waltz is a brilliant example to draw together some of the concepts, activities, tools that we've been exploring in this playlist. So for example chord to chord meets in outline which meets spot the difference and remember this is about what can I play now? How can I know this music? Specifically its sounds, its flow, its contour and how can I enjoy playing that right now even if I don't play all of the notes, all of the parts, all at once. chord to chord and ask yourself again which chords feel more intense or more relaxed, more stable or less stable and then spot the difference in the next phrase well harmonically is exactly the same thing but rhythmically there's a slight change and the order in which the bass and the chords occurs is the other way around. And again melodic discourse joins forces with spot the difference. If you take the middle section and by middle I mean second section because the music goes back to the beginning at the end forming a third section so you've got A, B, A. So the B section it comprises pretty much the same melody a few times but in its various statements does it have the same feeling underpinning it? Piano portals is a truly holistic approach and given that I can only go so far into it with these little snippets of advice. In these tutorials I'm starting where I would always recommend that you start with principles one and two of seven from piano portals which is 
first to connect deeply and personally with the music at all stages and throughout all activities and number two to play by ear as much as possible. Piano Portals is about meeting you where you are, not doing a load of unnecessary activities for the sake of it but becoming the expert over time on your own playing coordination, leaving things well alone if they're already working fine but bring your increasing self-awareness to elements of your coordination that may require freeing up or integrating further. So there may be subtle refinements in the rest of your playing coordination that could empower you further to play more expressively and fluently. And for this, I highly recommend that you visit pianoportals.com and check out the ever-increasing range of online courses, eBooks, tutorials and cheat sheets on offer to open-minded pianists and teachers like yourself. And please don't hesitate to be in touch with any queries or questions or your responses to these tutorials. I'd love to hear how you're getting on with these pieces.